Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about abstract methods in an interface. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com, select menu, Java OOP Tutorials. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to Interface Abstract Methods. Prior to Java 8, the only method allowed in an interface was technically an abstract method. The pre-Java 8 interface methods were implicitly public and abstract. Those modifiers are optional and it was, it was common not to explicitly apply them. They are still implicitly public and abstract in Java 8, but because now there are now three types of legal methods in an interface, I feel I should refer to them as abstract methods. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, well, you know. Anyway, here are the rules that apply to an abstract method in an interface. An abstract method can, cannot have a method body, and it must have a semicolon directly after the signature. An abstract method is implicitly public and abstract. You may explicitly apply both or either one if you like. Abstract methods must be overridden in a concrete subclass. A concrete subclass is simply a class without the abstract modifier that implements an interface. If a concrete subclass does not override an inherited abstract method, then a compiler error will occur. Okay, let's come down here and highlight some code. Control C to copy or right click and copy. Move the browser off screen here. Now I have a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, I can create one real quick by right clicking, selecting new, and then shortcut. Type in CMD, next finish, and that's it. Let's open up the command prompt. First thing you want to do is type in Java C and then dash version. And I'm running version 1.8, and then ignore the 0.45 on that. But basically that 8 here in this second after the first dot there means that I'm running Java 8. You're going to want to make sure that you're running Java 8. Um, there's a big difference in the, in, uh, the overhaul of the, of the interface in Java 8. Prior to Java 8 and Java 7, it was a lot, a lot more simple. I'd just about be done describing it now if that were the case. But anyway, so there's a bunch of new functionality there. So let's type in cd space backslash cd is short change directory. Backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory with the md command called java. I already have it, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. I'm going to change directories to the java folder there. And um, I'm going to make another directory here called uh, uh, interface abstract. Okay. Change directories to the interface abstract folder, and I'm on a notepad, interface abstract.java. Okay, source code file. I'm gonna go ahead and paste all this stuff in here. <clears throat> now what I've got is I've got um, class interface, interface abstract with the main method entry point there. And it's just going to create a new instance of a, of a bobby object and invoke the dot cell house. So here's what we've got. I've got this simple little interface here called Grandma's Will. <clears throat> and Grandma's Will has three abstract methods. The first one is Boolean, take care of hoarding issue, right? And you'll notice it doesn't have a body there. It doesn't have a um, code block, right? An opening, closing brace there. So that's an abstract method there, right? Here's your signature right here, the name of the method plus the parameter list inside the parentheses. Must be followed by a semicolon there. It's going to return Boolean type, right? In Grandma's will, she, she had no idea how to take care of her hoarding issue. You know, that's decades of you know garage sales and collecting stuff had, had made the hoarding issue, but um, she's just basically not going to tell us how to create take care of the hoarding issues. She's just going to delegate in her, her will to that someone needs to take care of the hoarding issue. And then um, sell the house, right? Um, and then I've also got this um, abstract method down here, spend inheritance. And you'll notice I put public and abstract in front of that, right? And that's because 
public and abstract is inherent is implicitly there. So these two actually have public and abstract too as well. It's just implicitly there. Now it's very easy to forget about that when you're looking at these these abstract um, methods here. Okay, and I have purposely loaded up the main program with an error to go off on a couple of errors. Kind of demonstrate that here. So. Um, up here we've got class Bobby. Bobby was, I guess, named the executor, and so he got to implement Grandma's will. You know, Mary might have been able to implement Grandma's will, and you know, a whole bunch of people might have been able to implement Grandma's will, but uh, Bobby was named the executor, so at least in this hypothetical made-up situation here. So, um, because he's the executor, he, uh, or, and he's implemented Grandma's will, he has to override each one of these abstract methods, right? So here we've got our first override, Boolean take care of hoarding issue, right? So we've got this one down here and we're gonna go ahead and just put it right up in here. And the first thing we're going to do is call a method and um, it's going to basically display the string literal to the, um, to the console there, call family and sort through stuff, no small task. Return true, right? This is like a never or an ending task. She collected a lot of stuff over the decades, so. Um, okay, now the next one we have to override is sell house. Well, we can't sell the house until we take care of the hoarding issue there. So, um, basically I'm just declaring a little local i equal to one and then setting up an endless loop here basically because that's always gonna return back true. So take care of hoarding issue. Right, and then it will display to the console, you know, uh, how many months of sorting is going on. It'll add one to the local variable, and if five months have passed, right, eh, we're just going to break out and display time to call a realtor, and then invoke the spend inheritance um, method here, and that will display to the console, I'm going on vacation. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this here. So what we do when we come into the main method entry point, I'm going to create a new instance of Bobby, and I'm going to evoke the sell house method here to get the ball rolling there. So let's go ahead and save this out and let's clear the screen. Java C interface abstract. Okay, so we get an error right off the bat. Okay, sell house in Bobby cannot implement sell house in grandma's will. Void sell house. Attempting to assign weaker access privileges was public. Okay, and same thing here. Take care of hoarding issues in Bobby cannot be implemented in take care of hoard, uh, cannot implement take care of hoarding issues in grandma's will, right? Attempting to sign weaker access privileges was public. Now I can tell you, here's one of the things that you know about Java. Sometimes it's more important to know what isn't there than what is, because you know, if you if you didn't know your stuff, right? Like if I didn't cue you off or, or put a little cue down here, right, and you weren't paying attention. You would just be going, well, what did I do wrong here? You know, okay, I've got a uh, void cell house that matches that. I'm, I'm overriding it. I don't get what's wrong here, you know? Well, you just, you have to keep it in the back of your mind that each one of these are in fact, you know, uh, public abstract, right? You don't have to have the, pub, you know, the abstract modifier down here, right? We didn't get the error message when I did public void inheritance and I overwrote it here, right? Oh, I missed the add override annotation there. I just like to keep that in there, right? And so um, basically, you know, didn't miss it down here, so we didn't get an error on that, right? We got our error, I'm gonna clear my screen, right? We got our error on the other two, you know, attempting to assign weaker, weaker access privileges was public. So, you know, knowing that you know that each one of these is, you know, public abstract, right? And we could explicitly put it on here, save this and still get the same error, right? Yep, still get the same error there. Until we come up here and we say, oh, okay, you know, what I have to do is put on public here and public here. Because basically without that mo public modifier on there, we're trying to make, um, make it default package access when inside of the interface, an interface is implicitly public and abstract, okay? So these, 
even though public abstract is not on here, you need to absolutely remember that it is in fact there. Okay, so now we've fixed that issue there. And I just loaded that up because I wanted you to see what would happen. So let's go ahead and uh, compile and run this thing here now. Um, okay, we want to invoke the interface abstract. Okay, call family and sorting through stuff. No small task. Month one of sorting, right? And then that repeats those two lines for month two, month three, and month four. And then time to call a realtor fires, and then I'm going on vacation. Okay, so um, we basically get to see how the, you know, the inheritance is working great. I thought, oh, well, you know, it's a little morbid, but... Talk about a great example for inheritance. Talk about another great example for an abstract method, where you know the very definition of an abstract method is you're not is you you're going to require the subclass to implement it, but you're not going to tell the subclass how to do it. <clears throat> right? Grandma isn't going to talk about her hoarding issues and getting rid of everything and tell you how to do it, you know, before she passes on. So that'll be your problem you know, and how to sell the house and how to spend the inheritance. You know, fortunately, you'll probably enjoy spending the inheritance, but everything else is a chore before you get the reward. So anyway, it's a little bit more of it, but I thought it was just an absolute perfect example of um, inheritance and a abstract method there. So, um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Get rid of that and leave you with just one simple final thought. Simple recap. Don't forget about the implicit public and abstract on, an abs on those methods inside of the interface. Uh, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.